This episode of The Intrepid Show is sponsored by Ground News. More on them later. Hit that disclaimer. The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to be are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacy of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Pinoy Theory. Parang maling ano yun, intro yun. <laughs> okay, this is a Matt Pat tribute, okay? Let's go! As a tribute to Matt Pat and all that he has done in the internet, I will go ahead and uh, do this video to basically uh, celebrate uh, what he is has done in the past 13 years and also to um, go with a thing that I am personally into and that is analog horror. Ayoko mag ano, ayoko mag ano, uh, magmura at this point kasi I'm uh, featuring the um, workstation altar here in Intrepid HQ or at least the the countertop that I use as the makeshift altar. Honestly, gusto na tang- tanggalin but not because I'm ano, I'm uh, pissed off with religion or something. No, actually I'm not. It's just that uh, since we're already back uh, going into uh, churches, I think it's about time na tanggalin ko na siya uh, or at the very least i ano ko i downgrade ko into a prayer station or uh, where all of the where all of the religious items go so yon I just have to uh, have the time to get that uh, sorted and yeah uh, I'll definitely get that sorted uh, in the next few um weeks I guess but then again, since January, I might as well get this uh, sorted out. I normally wanted to go with this as a as an in, uh, episode of the Intrepid Show, but I, or the Intrepid Podcast rather. But I'd rather go it with with the Intrepid Show. Anyway, uh, if you uh, if you have it, have happened to watch this video, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. I'm Ian Drinon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things, and welcome to. Another episode of the Intrepid Show. I guess this is the very first one for 2024. So, um, tingnan natin. Um, sa But definitely, we are going to uh, celebrate um, Matt Pat today by uh, doing uh, doing something that I definitely uh, I definitely had uh, has an have an hyper fixation with, and that is. Pinoy Lost Media and Analog Horror. So with that said, let's go. Absolute struggle. Sometimes don't move. So a little bit of background. Why the hell did do, did I uh, even have the reason why I wanted to go with Analog Horror or uh, at least ano, Pinoy Lost Media and Analog Horror. So if you notice, I always brand myself as an independent alternative media practitioner because I am. I technically studied, um, I definitely had media studies as my, uh, no, as my program in, um, in university. So that only means that this is going to be my specialty even though uh, I, I had a very different background when it comes to uh, my career. But, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, at the very least, I'm in this uh, in this kind of uh, thing now. So, yeah. You see, mga kababayan, Philippine media is a bit strange. It is. Kasi, we're not typically used to uh, keep stuff as a culture. Kasi, Kahit nga sa historical ano natin, historical texts natin, wala tayong masyadong ano eh, wala tayong masyadong pakialam. 
uh, unless you're a historian or a history buff or a, his, a history enthusiast just like me. But if you're uh, the typical tambay on typical tambay on the streets, anong paki ko sa kasaysayan? Or anong paki ko sa ano sa mga sa pag ano pag uh, archive ng mga bagay bagay bagay? Kung wala naman na yan silbi, dapat itapo na yan. That's ano. That's sadly that's part of ano. That's part of the culture that. Uh, we are living in and it's and um as a result even um tapes and recordings of uh, media files have been lost to oblivion maraming mga youtube channels na akong napapanood na puro mga ano puro mga sabihin na natin ano uh lost media naka- dedicated sa lost media uh there are some successful uh discoveries of uh lost pinoy media and uh somehow it's been it's been ano it's been uh uploaded on several youtube channels hindi ko na maalala basta i-type niyo na lang sa youtube uh, lost filipino media or lost pinoy media and uh, you'll definitely see oh ito pala yung ano ito pala yung lumabas dun sa nung, pin- nung pinapanood ko to sa tv uh, ano nung some ito 10 years ago 20 years ago and um to be ano to be to be absolutely frank uh medyo natatakot pa rin ako sa ano sa PSA ng Family Rosary Crusade yung biglang puti tapos si biglang ano si Mama Mary I mean I'm a Catholic okay I love the fact that um God gave Mary to the world and uh you know uh God gave the virgin Mary to the world to be uh to be an example for all of us of, about holiness but goodness gracious me yung execution nung ano na yon nung ad na yon medyo medyo sus <laughs> okay biglang lulito na lang yung ano yung mukha ni Mama Mary as a child i was petrified ngayon parang tumataas pa rin balahibo ko but yeah <laughs> uh, it's a core memory another core memory uh, for some Hindi ko lang na, siguro na ano to, napansin to or hindi ko siguro napansin to yung uh Encarnacion Bechaves, the the lost TVC of Encarnacion Bechaves or Encarnacion Bechaves. I'm why did I <laughs> why did I say that in Spanish or in ano, in Castilian Spanish? That store still exists. Malay natin baka ipadya ko yan no? pag pumunta ako na Maynila, hanapin ko talaga yung Encarnacion Bechaves. Why not? Pero uh the store is still there but the TV uh the TV commercial has been lost even the even the TV stations uh that archived uh commercials parang hindi pa nila mahanap eh <laughs> and uh even the ad standards council council parang wala pa, parang wala na rin sa archive nila yon or uh they have uh they have uh struggles finding it and uh digitizing it for ano for posterity but then again I don't know. Parang maraming na, na, nasasabi na uh, medyo creepy pasta yung ano, yung yung, yung TVC ng Encarnacion Bechaves. But yun nga, uh, mas creepy or mas nakagulat yung sa ano Family Rosary Crusade dati na TVC yung kay Mama Mary yung sinabi ko kanina. In speaking of spooks, isa rin sa mga ano ko, isa rin sa mga naging uh, hyperfixation ko at this point is analog horror uh and uh, it all started with the foreign ano, with the foreign stuff local 58 mandela catalog uh gemini home entertainment uh there's this all there's this all, also this ano even tide yata yon and then uh the tempest files uh basically yung archives ng ano nung uh, channel 7 this is not gma okay yung, cha- yung channel 7 is that yung tukoy ko is yung ano yung sa analog horror uh, ano pa ba ibang mga analog horror series na ano? Yun, The Back Rooms. Uh, the Back Rooms. Hindi ko naman yung iba. Hindi <laughs> ko naman yung iba. Meron ding ibang mga ano, big, meron ding ibang mga uh, one-off analog horror series sa uh, elsewhere. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, uh, medyo budding ano siya, budding um, genre. Kaya lang kasi, uh, since ano tayo, um, we're giving tribute to Matt Pat. The reason why he is uh, leaving YouTube is because of the 
because of the changing landscape of YouTube. And uh, quite honestly, hindi ko rin alam kung saan ako, ano, saan, saan ako papunta neto. Kasi, uh, yun nga, uh, this is not my job. This is not really uh, my main job. I really hope this, ano, this profits. Of course, I really want this to profit. Kaya lang, uh, sa ngayon, hindi ko pa magawa. Kaya, if, uh, if it's possible, if your pockets are, ano, if, if, if your pockets allow, uh, I do hope that you would, uh, Uh, help me out with uh, with funding uh, this initiative through Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, Ko-Fi, and PayPal. The links to them are in the description below. But kung hindi naman talaga ano, kung hindi uh, kung hindi nyo kaya financially, that's okay. Walang pilitan. Uh, the best way that you can uh, support me is uh, subscribing to this YouTube channel. Uh, my name in Uh, on YouTube is Intrepid Ian Reñon. Then ring the notification bell by selecting all. Then uh, maybe follow me along on Facebook. I'm not necessarily on Twitter slash X, whatever you call it. Uh, pero I also have uh, that uh, that account. Meron din ako, meron din ako Instagram. Di, di ko rin masyadong magamit. Pero I'll try to ano, I'll try to um, frequent those other uh, those other uh, social media handles. But I definitely am on Strava because I cycle. And speaking of Strava, yeah, <laughs> suit ko yung starving t-shirt ni ano, ni Ian Howe. Shout out to Sir Ian and the rest of Team Apple. Uh, the reason why I say that is ano yun nga, uh, pumapajak ako and uh, all of my cycling content is uh, is mostly on Strava. But uh, I also uh, record some videos on YouTube. Uh, the last one is yung sa ano, sa bike demo check ko na uh, ilalagay ko na lang dyan, uh, somewhere and then uh, definitely I always post pictures on Facebook if it's possible yun lang now uh, we go to analog horror kasi uh, yun din isa sa mga ano isa sa mga ano ko hyperfixations ko and uh, parang part na rin to ng ano ng matpat tribute kasi uh, kung <laughs> Uh, feature niya yung Local 58, the, yung Mandela Catalog, tsaka yung The Backroom sa, ano, sa Film Theory, I might as well fit, feature uh, the top three um, Pinoy analog horror creators out there. And this is in no particular order, ha, mga kababayan, kasi everything that these three creators are doing is absolutely stunning. Sobra. Talagang ano, natutuwa ako sa... Ano, sa ginagawa nila kaya I'm ano I'm definitely you know I'm definitely recommending all of these you know all of these uh, channels uh, for you now first one that we're going to share to you is Blue Wave 5 and uh, <laughs> niload ko pa sa YouTube te uh, yeah Blue Wave 5 that um actually etong si Blue Wave hindi naman talaga siya yung ano yung uh, dedicated sa analog horror uh, recent, recent na lang kasi yon kasi ibang mga videos niya nagsimula sa ano sa mga uh, parang hobby ano hobby shit na ano yun hobby shit na eh, mga, mga actually parang puro K-pop gaming uh, ano pa ba yung mga iba dito yung, yeah K-pop gaming karamihan ano Sonic merong Minecraft merong uh, Uh, may isa pa nga dito, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Hindi yung remastered version. Then, uh, nagsimula, ano, nagsimula siya sa analog horror uh, dun sa, ano, sa parang uh, British POV ng uh, unknown life form number 5 ni, ano, ni iRepublic. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with iRepublic later. Pero, uh, nag-upload si iRepublic ng ano, nung unknown life form number 5. Parang ito yung, ano, niya, yung response video niya na Ah, uh, yun nga. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so ito British point of view nung unknown life form no- number 5. And then nag-venture siya sa mga fictional ano, fictional EAS scenarios, uh, emergency alert system scenarios. Uh, one of them is yung ano, yung 2008 global ano, uh, cyber attack na naapektuhan ng Pilipinas and uh, basically parang ano siya, uh, parang nakaano siya sa GMA. Then Uh, the second uh, fictional EAS scenario is yung ano a hidden city 
and uh, parang fictional na ano, fictional EAS uh, na bin broadcast daw sa ABS-CBN prior to the Kapamilya shutdown. So, <clears throat> yun. Uh, so, isa na sa ABS, isa, isa sa GMA, isa na sa ABS. Tapos, uh, tawag ito, black ho- may black hole scenario na ano, parang palipat-lipat ng ano, ng channels, pero ang huli, or ang ano, sa dulo, ano, nakatutok na sa GMA. So, yun. And then, there's the channel, there's channel 8 anomaly. This is the midnight, ano, ah, uh, tayo ito, di, dito na nag sa analog horror yung ano, yung uh, genre ng, ni Blue Wave 5, ni Blue Wave, yung, uh, kasi, walang channel 8 sa ano eh, uh, at least sa Metro Manila. Okay? Walang channel 8 at least sa Metro Manila. And, uh, yun nga, um, uh, parang anong nangyari or sa senaryo uh, may anomaly na nangyari sa channel 8 na normally dapat static lang yun o snowy ano snowy uh, screen pero yun nga after that hinahanap niya ulit yung ano yung anomaly uh, wala na puro sign off na lang ng mga ano ng mga uh, ng mga channels na bukas pa rin ng gabi ng ano ng uh, hating gabi then you have uh, a 1999 um ano yun a 1999 uh, style uh, analog horror um parang naka siya sa ni- 1999 uh with, with a fictional channel uh, it's called anomaly in Pas- pesadilla city which is a fictional place somewhere in the philippines <laughs> so yun lang yun then um broadcast and inter- intervention bro- parang ano na siya parang uh, more like ano more like a uh, sabihin na natin ano trailer yung tapos yung latest na analog horror niya na ano na based sa TV broadcast is called Containment Breach and uh, again sa ABS to or um, parang pinaano niya parang pinaano niya sa na parang bin broadcast daw to sa ABS And then yun nga, parang SCP style yata yung ano eh, yung uh, yung uh, ano niya, yung ginawa niya dito sa ano, sa containment breach. Then his latest video is called um Abandoned Mall Investigation, which is basically ano, parang uh, gameplay ng isang ano, parang ginawa niya eh, gameplay ng ano ng isang uh, uh, FPS game. Hindi ko lang alam kung anong SP- FPS game to, pero parang Para ang, ang aesthetics niya is para sa backrooms. So, uh, hindi ko lang alam kung ano yon Pero parang pinaghalong SCP tsaka backrooms na may konting Call of Duty. <laughs> yun yung, yun yung ano, yun yung um, nakita ko dito sa ano na to, sa video na to na ano, na nirelease ni Blue Wave. Uh, seven days ago, uh, as of this recording, so napaka ano, napaka ano, napaka bago lang. <laughs> Ayun. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, get some water. I'll be right back. But before we continue, let me go ahead and uh, share to you the sponsor for this video, Ground News. Now, as you may have heard uh, in a previous episode of the, of the Intrepid Podcast, I have actually embraced the life of a news writer and a freelance journalist at this point of, of my career. And honestly, It has challenges, but it is also liberating. Because as I believe, uh, because I also believe, uh, as the guy upstairs said, the truth shall set you free. A lot of things happened uh, in uh, in our uh, in our society, and you know, you might be you might be wondering, bakit ganto na lang la, ganto na lang yung nangyayari sa mundo at uh, ano ba talaga ito to? Ano ba nangyayari? And this is the reason why Ground News was. Uh, Uh, was created. Uh, it was created by uh, a NASA engineer, and um, she definitely thought that uh, there should be uh, a way for us to uh, basically think for ourselves. Na hindi lang natin kino consume yung bina- balita. E na nagano din tayo. Uh, parang tititing na natin, tititing na natin kung may bias ba tong ano yung sinasabi na tong uh, news outlet na to, or ano, or napaka ano napaka balance nung ano niya. And uh, As a news writer, I also incorporate my interest in history to make it investigative as much as possible. Lalo-lalo na ako yung mga news story eh 
uh, no overlook or underreported uh, by the big guys in the media is industry. Let's say ABS-CBN, GMA, GMA, TV5, uh, CNN Philippines. You get the drift. Um, ganun yung ano, ganun yung nangyayari sa ground news. Unfortunately, medyo ano pa siya, uh, hindi pa siya masyadong uh, naka, na, parang hindi pa masyadong naayos yung algorithm ng uh, ng ground news sa mga Philippine news sites. But then again, uh, there are there are topics here that are related to our country and um, kahit pa paano, um, nakadiscover din ako ng mga, mga, mga medyo, ano, mga medyo Naka, ano, na fascinating ba na ano na pangyayari. Anyway, if you notice na na parang tinatakil ko si Matpat kasi yun nga um, magre-retire na siya sa YouTube and uh, merong ano, meron na ako nakitang ano dito, items sa ground news. Kar- karamihan sa mga ano, sa mga news ano, items or news stories tungkol sa pagretiro ni Mat- ni Matpat eh puro left leaning yung mga uh, mga left leaning ano sources and then iisa lang sa right sa parang uh, nakalin sa kanan kasi there is a political spectrum left to right left is progressive right is conservative you get the drill but yun nga you definitely have a little bit of a problem when it comes to this and you know uh, this is basically a blind spot actually medyo may pagka blind spot blind spot na to kasi uh, yun yung ma- you know isa sa mga features ng ano eh ng ground news na medyo nakatuwa din uh, at 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 this point kasi nga you know there are news agencies or people who have um have a specific lean when it comes to the political spe- spectrum at hindi nila hindi na nila nakikita yung ano yung ibang mga news items and you know this is what uh, this is what ground news calls a blind spot and uh, you can always check this out kasi maganda siya now Before we ano before we uh ayan medyo kasi ano eh medyo uh, matagal na rin yung ano yung uh, ano ko dito sa video uh, ang nakatuwa kasi dito Ground News is a website and app that gathers news from around 50,000 sources globally and puts related articles in one place so you can easily compare coverage parang nakikita mo yung kwento uh, sa likod ng kwento tapos uh, ang ginagamit niya is ano mga data driven analysis na parang parang dinidinig yung political bias. Ang isa sa mga pinaka favorite features ko sa Ground News is yung uh, charts and breakdowns, uh, gauging on fact- factuality, ownership at kung sino yung ano unang nagano, unang nag uh, naghatid ng balita uh, sa buong mundo. Now, what's the best part of what of uh, you know, using Ground News. You can actually access all of these if you create a Ground News account or download the app for free. Yes, napakinggan nyo yun ha. Libre lang ang Ground News. You can all, always upload it. It's absolutely free. But if you upgrade to one of their premium subscription options, you will get access to extra features that would give you a greater perspective on the story, behind the story, beyond the basic stuff. So kung gusto niyo naman na ano na mag-upgrade or subscribe sa isang premium subscription, you can sign up today at check.ground.news/intrepidian. The link is also in the description below. Uh check niyo na lang yung ano yung link so that you can get 15% off, 1.5, 15% off of your Ground News subscription. Again, that's check.ground.news/intrepidian and you get 15% of your Ground News subscription. And yun nga isa sa mga isa sa isang napakalaking karangalan na um, ano maging ano uh, na i, uh, basically ang ito to i-promote ang Ground News kasi um ito yung kauna-unahan kong ano uh, sponsor sa ano sa YouTube channel na to and I definitely love you to uh, check the ano check the site out it's been helping me in my job it's been helping me as a creator It's ano, it's a it's a heaven sent. So yun lang. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, so uh back to uh reviewing or uh basically sharing my uh, thoughts about Pinoy analog horror or actually featuring also the channels kasi feature ko Blue Wave 5. The next one that we're gonna feature is Channel 10 Manila. Nakatuwa lang kasi ano, 
ewan ko nga kung may channel 10 na ibang sa ibang bansa na analog horror eh pero uh, sa Pilipinas you have channel 10 Manila or yung ano nila yung parang uh, call sign nila is KTKT TV <laughs> I am not sure why pero parang more of katakutan I am not sure pero yeah that's ano that's how it goes so parang ano siya eh um sabihin na natin custom built uh, analog horror channel kasi uh, parang hindi siya ano wala siyang origin story talagang parang purpose built siya na analog horror channel i am not sure who who created this pero kung sino man ang ano nasa nasa likod nitong ano channel na to ang ganda ng ano ang ganda ng pagkakaano niya pagkaka-edit niya parang three months ago nagsimula ya ang ang channel 10 Manila napakabata pa ng ano ng channel na to uh, to be ano to be uh, uh, without ano ito ito without, for the lack of a better term and yun nga medyo weird yung mga ano yung mga uh, parang uncanny valley yung ano yung uh, ano niya yung uh, style niya pero yung sa unang video which is yung Uh, shortest and cursed TV test broadcast yun yung ano yung kauna-unahang video it's just 60 seconds pero yun nga parang ano lang siya test broadcast so ang ano ang weird and then the next video dito na nagsisimula ang mga katakota- katatakutan <laughs> <laughs> gago ang nangyari dito is ano Metrocom PSA September 1988 ito yung ano next ano next uh, um video ni ano ng Channel 10 Manila Basically ang kwento nito, uh, hindi ko sure eh. ang parang sinabi ata sa description eh, parang nag-air nag-air itong ano na to, parang uh, patatastas sa nawawala. <laughs> And um parang unauthorized or bigla na lang nag-air. <laughs> na, dahil parang dapat talaga sign pag sign off na pag sign off wala na since yung ano na, yung snowy ano, snowy screen na. Pero patatastas para sa nawawala. Ana oros sa bulhinan, babae, edad 27. Pinaghahanap simula ng mawala ito sa loob ng kanilang tahanan simula ika-27 ng Hulyo hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Binigyan ng pahintulot ng Metricam ng hintilang ito para sa pag-broadcast ng patalastas na ito upang makatulong sa paghahanap sa nawawala. Biglang nag-ano, biglang nag-ano to. Uh, under the guise of ano of a Metricam advisory. Metricam is basically the predecessor of the Philippine National Police's National Capital Region Police Office or NCRPO so uh ba- this is what was back in back when um the, the Philippine National Police was still the Philippine Constabulary so yun yung ano yun yung ano dun. and Metrocom is the Metropolitan Command so from Metropolitan Command naging NCR Police Office so yun NCRPO yun sobrang nawirduhan ako dun sa ano sa mismong ano mismong video kasi yun nga uh <laughs> Uh, yung yung nawawala bigla na lang nagmo-morph yung ano yung picture niya ng Hulyo hanggang sa kasalukuyan binigyan ng pahintulot ng metricam ng hintilang ito and then sa huli parang patalastas sa mga nawawala la 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 <laughs> ganun patalastas para sa nawawala la 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 and then um uh the next uh, frame is uh Kasi tatlong parang six numbers lang yun eh. Tapos bigla 666666. Oh my goodness. That's that's weird. That's fucking weird. Sorry. <laughs> Nagano na ako, nagmuna na ako. I'll I'll beep it out. That's uh that's the fu- I don't know. I don't want to say it's the funniest, pero yun nga. Natatawa na lang din ako na medyo ano, natutuwa din sa ano sa pagkakagawa ng video. And then the third one is a haunted shampoo commercial in 1988 plus ano to? Uh, station ID. So nakakatu- nakatuwa to kasi yun nga ginamit nila yung ano yung parang uh, TVC ng Jurgens. I'm not sure kung uh, ano kung buhay pa yung Jurgens na shampoo pero back in the day parang naabutan ko pa yata yon in the, in the early 2000s. Ah uh, pagkaka- pagkakatanda ko I'm I'm already ano I'm already 31 so uh, ay pa paano naaalala ko na yung na, na medyo um alam ko pa yung ano Jurgens na shampoo so yeah that's how it is now uh, ang 
twist kasi nito parang there's blood in the ano there's blood in the ano the scenes after that and parang ang naisip ko parang ano siya eh, parang <laughs> murder shit I'm not sure pero yun nga um that's very uncanny so yun yung ano and then the fourth video this was three weeks ago parang uh ina nito parang share nito nung Pasko Uh, possible broadcast hijacking October 1988 and uh, actually this is ano eh this is um uh, parang pinaro din niya yung ano pinaro din niya yung uh, Malaysia Airlines <laughs> uh ginawa niya Maharlika Airlines system or something and then uh yung ibang yung isa pang ano isa pang um, commercial uh nag-freeze yung ano nag-freeze yung uh, frame Tapos, nawala yung ulo ng babae. <laughs> nawala yung ulo ng babae. And uh, there were shrieks. And yun nga. Then, nakakatawa, nakakatawa dun sa, ano, eh, sa station ID. Na, parang ano, ang, uh, parang ando sa text, nasa ng, nasa ng anak mo. <laughs> I think, nasa ng mga anak mo. Eh, parang ganun yung ano, parang nakita ko sa text. Then there's uh, no there's this parang uh, TV advertising program called Tahanan TV. <laughs> eh parang ano parang mga uh, ano yun? Uh, parang fini feature yung mga bahay na for sale. And then do sa pangatlo walang details. And then yun nga medyo nag uncanny ang tapos ang ano ang nangyari uh, meron mga text na tulungan mo ko. Ang sabi ko, tulungan mo ako. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, sa ang sabi mo, tulungan mo ako, biglang may naririnig ka ulit na, ano, na <laughs> sigaw or something. And, it's, it, and, there, and that was the end of the video. The fifth one is sign-off and viewership retention system. This was also in October 1988. Basically, this is an a sign off video pagkatapos sa national anthem uh, yung parang ano yung parang mga um uh, ito, sign off ano sign off uh, video ng channel 10 and then parang naging ano siya naging aggressive ang ano ang channel 10 or at least kung sino man ang ano nagko-control sa channel 10 we wish you a good night's sleep we wish that even in your dreams you are still watching us please stay with us this is channel 10 manila ktkt tv We are now signing off. Na ano na sirain yung signal ng ABS, ng GMA, ng RPN dati, Channel 9 and IBC 13. Kasi yun yung parang apat sa pinaka malakas na channels dati. Uh 279 at 13. So yun. goodness, nabutol ko pa yung, yung apat na yun eh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tapos yun nga, uh, biglang ano, biglang nag-live sa ano, sa bahay ng isang ano, ng isa sa mga viewers na ano, na hindi ano, na hindi, uh, you know, <laughs> hindi nag, uh, ito, naka, nanonood sa ano, sa channel 10. And yun nga. <laughs> seven nine thirteen rest in peace yun yung ano nandun nakita ko then the final video so far of channel 10 manila is called sign on sequence and advertisement and clock also on october 1988 so basically ang nangyari dito is parang uh, more of a controlling parang biglang naging dystopian na yung channel 10 na alam mo yun um naging controlling na siya I'm 
don't know who the hell is that person that uh that was featured in the in the video pero yun nga uh <laughs> that's a that's that ito biglang naging weird naging weird shit siya ayun <laughs> Yeah, that's uh that's basically Channel 10 Manila. And last but definitely never least is I Republic aka Sid Vicious 9 sa Reddit. Kasi Sid Vicious 9 talaga siya dapat dati pero yun nga uh, he he became I Republic. Nakatuwa tong si ano eh, si Sid kasi uh, bukod sa ano, bukod sa analog horror eh alam ko pumapadjak din yata siya eh. Uh, nagbabike din siya. So, uh, kapwa siklista din. So, uh, kung narinig mo to, kung mapanood mo to, Sid, um, shout out sa'yo and uh, ride safe kung, ano, kung papadya ka. Now, ang origin story ng iRepublic or Istoryahe Republic, whatever it is, uh, actually, ano siya eh, um, parang na-influence yata siya ni, ano, ni Cody ng Alternate History Hub kasi yung, uh, yung mga unang mga videos niya eh puro mga alternate history shit. Tapos, nag na siya into analog horror at ano, parang uh, nilaunch na niya yung, ano, yung kanyang uh, series na Pinoy Cursed Broadcast with a K instead of a C, Pinoy Cursed Broadcast with, um, with actually a, a, a Filipino variant of Local 58's Contingency. Doon nagsimula yung, ano, yung uh, kasikatan ni Sid or ng, I, ng channel niya na iRepublic na yung gumawa siya ng ano gumawa siya ng uh, local version or Filipino version ng contingency you know liberate to freedom position front lawn face up feet together <laughs> yun pero iba yung ano iba yung version niya kumbaga ano <laughs> nakatuwa lang kasi yun nga uh, dahil doon nagsimula yung ano niya yung fascination niya sa analog horror doon nagsimula yung ano basically nagsimula nagsimula ang ano ang ang magagandang ano analog horror dahil sa ano dahil sa ginawa ni ano ni Sid or ng ano ng I Republic na uh, local version or sabi na natin ano uh, Pinoy version ng contingency So talagang nakatuwa lang talaga na ano na naging ano yon. Uh, naging hit yon, naging patok yon. And the and the call sign, you know what? The call sign is KMTYN3. Kamatayan. So you have chosen death. <laughs> so yon. <laughs> yun yung ano, yun yung ginawa <laughs> niya sa ano sa Local 58 version niya. or yung contingency version niya. Siguro ilalagay ko na lang din sa description yung ano, international versions ng contingency. Talagang naghanap kasi ako, naghanap din kasi ako ng mga ano, uh, international versions ng contingency uh, ng ano, ng Local 58. Plus yung ano, yung Local 58 mismo na ano, na video, original ng Local 58. I I created a playlist, ilalagay ko na lang sa description. Baka i-feature ko na rin sa dulo. So that's that. And then it just keeps getting better and better and better. You have Gabay sa Ligtas sa Pagsakay sa LRT, The 3AM Habit, yung kanyang version ng NNN ano, special broadcast kung saan nakalagay yung mga pangalan ng mga tao tapos sinasa, parang sinabi doon na ito ang mga ano, ito ang mga alay sa ito ang mga alay para ito ang mga alay para bukas. Mga pinagpalang alay. <laughs> yun yata yun na hindi ko maalala yung ano, yung mismong uh, wording. Tingnan niyo lang sa ano sa channel niya. I'll also link the The, uh, that thing in the description. Then, yun sinabi ko nga, unknown life form number 5, siya ang, ano, siya nagsimula nun, tapos, yung naging uh, PO, British POV, eh, ano, in-upload ni Blue Wave 5. So, dun, ano, dun nagkaroon na ng, ano, na, uh, collaboration ang mga, ano, Pinoy analog horror um, creators. And then, uh, meron din siya mga, ano, ibang mga, medyo nakakatawang, ano, nakakatawang uh, videos, katulad ng, Philippines in October 31 be like yung ano sa ano yung kay Kabayan Noli de Castro and then yun nga yung par, yung yung kababalaghan series niya and then you have Wonder Boy ito parang uh, gumawa siya ng spoof ng isang ano ng chichirya ng isang PVC ng isang chichirya saka yung five yung sinabi niya na yung video dito na five year old me pag narinig yung intro ng MGB magandang gabi bayan <laughs> yun 
And then uh, Ancient Bardagulan number one. Basically, ano, meron din siyang ano, playlist na Oplan Contra Sad Boy. <laughs> so nakatuwa din na uh, uh, he's also delving into ano into memes and comedy. That's good. Pero balik tayo sa ano, balik tayo sa uh, yeah, isa sa ano Oplan Contra Sad Boy din ano. Kapag kung may Adult Swim ang Hero TV. <laughs> so yun. But back to the Pinoy back to Pinoy Cursed Broadcast yun nga. Uh, gumawa din siya ng ano, gumawa din siya ng uh, uh, creepy station ID ng ABS. <laughs> In the service of the Filipino world. And then uh, signal collabor- uh, calibration 1998. Then high orbit SOS ginamit niya yung parang di ko alam kung uh, the unfounded ano, the unfounded um, recording of a of a Soviet cosmonaut. Who allegedly died in space. I'm not sure what if it's real or not. Pero yun nga parang ang finrame nila to na ano na nangyari habang umiere sa DZRH. Tapos ano ah uh, <laughs> uh, parang may ano may umatake sa kanya na nilalang in orbit. So that's uh, that's how he framed it. Then you have charm test, which is basically ah. Uh, pinaghalong smile tapes tsaka ano real sleep ng ano ng local 58 so yun yung ano niya doon inspiration niya doon he also had a station id bumper then one of his other ano famous ano famous videos is milk ad which is basically uh the story behind the girl who the mysterious girl in a in a 1980s bear brand commercial na dinirect ni ano ni Mr. Shuli Um, rest in peace Mr. Shuli. Medyo debunk na to pero yun nga uh, ginawa niya ng ano, ginawa niya ng analog horror twist. and uh, na feature na siya dun sa ano sa video ni ano video ni Paulul so maraming concept na rin ng ano ng nakatingin dun sa ano sa sa video na to pati na rin yata sa ano sa Modern either sa ano KMTYN3 o sa di ko maalala yung isang ano eh, video na ano eh yeah i think yung came yung ano yung contingency yung contingency parang in, parang unang Kaya sumikat yung yung si I Republic kasi ni-react ni Tito Pao yung contingency video niya yung uh, yung KMTY entry tapos parang last year lang yata so, nung undas uh, pinanood ni Tito Pao at ni Tito Ed Kaluwag yung ano yung milk ad ni ano ni uh, Sid. Then um he had his he had a go with ano with a mix hacking case may video siya doon. And then one of the most ano one of the best videos that personally nakita na panood ko is yung Midnight Telecast kasi sobrang nakakatuwa nakakatuwa na parang uh, dito mo makita yung ano eh dito mo makita yung artistry ni Sid eh yung sa Midnight Telecast talaga wow what the hell did i just watch <laughs> And then meron siyang ano, meron siyang parang short documentary video uh, called Roko which is basically a video about a fictional event in Tambobong which is basically Kaloocan or Malabon. I'm not sure kung saan yun basta sa Kamanawa area. And akala ng mga tao ay ano yun, parang uh, dalawang anghel na nagsasabi na ito na ang wakas. Um uh, lahat ng mga tao ay ano iaakyat sa langit pero pero ang plot twist noon hindi yun mga anghel kundi isang halimaw na napaka-transparent at yung dalawang ano dalawang anghel mata pala yun ng halimaw hindi po mga totoong anghel yung nakita natin sa langit mga mata lamang sila ng isang malaking halimaw halimaw ang mga anghel na nakita natin sa langit mga mata lamang po sila ng isang malaking organismo Yung transparent na galamay po yung dahilan kung bakit parang lumulutang po yung mga 
yung mga tao hinayaan natin silang kainin ng halimaw. Mo! Yung pamilya ko! Kitang-kita ko! Masaya sila! Tulong umakyat sila! Ka! Masaya sila nung inakyat dahil sa epekto na nilalabas ng amoy na rosas na pheromones at yung neurotoxin ng galamay. Patuwa! Patuwa rin yung puha ko ka. Yung mga kasama ko na George, George! Tama na! So parang, holy s**t! <laughs> Panoorin nyo na lang! He had a time check, which is ano, ah, basically a very ano, a very um weird ah, very weird transition or sign off sa ano sa GMA or ah parang ano parang ah pinrem yata na ano na parang umere sa GMA yata pero gawa gawa lang yun. Then on Halloween itself, 2023. Gumawa siya ng ano ng parang music video para sa isang karaoke ano, karaoke uh, karaoke na karaoke format. At uh, <laughs> ang ginamit niya doon is yung isang 90s uh, song na ang pangalan ay Boy. And um <laughs> naisip ko Magandang itroll to sa mga ano ba, sa barkada mong kata, na, na, to, to, barkada ng ano matatakotin <laughs> lalo na kung kakanta sila noon tapos bigla na lang Suggest ko yan na ano, pang, ipang troll niya yan sa mga ano, sa mga, ka, mga barkada niyong ano, matatakotin yung ano, interlude. Yun yung ano, <laughs> nakakatuwa doon. Before this year ends, kumuha siya ng dalawang ano, ng videos. One is the final broad, the KMTYN3 final broadcast, which is basically, um, which is basically uh, an extended and degraded version of, uh, of his first, uh, first uh, video na first analog horror video na contingency na parang ano siya yung uh, extended video siya ng ano ng uh, pinoy version niya ng contingency so that's uh, that's what it is and then the final video so far is season's greetings basically this is a christmas video but instead of santa claus it's actually krampus <laughs> or yeah i think it's krampus kasi parang ano uh, Krampus na naka ano na uh, <laughs> Krampus na um, kamukha ni Santa Claus <laughs> so um, panoorin niyo na lang kahit ano tapos na ang Pasko <laughs> or maybe next year or maybe this ano this coming December <laughs> para matakot kayo And that's basically all the videos of Sid Vicious Five, aka uh, I Republic. And yeah, um, nakatuwa lang din na ano na. Oh, uh-huh.
yan ang tingin mo sa akin. Bastos ka. I am very much ano, I'm very much happy na yun nga nakatuwa eh nakatuwa na ano na mayroong mga mag naganto mga gantong ano mga gantong uh, creators na talagang hindi puchu-puchu yung analog horror nila eh. talagang pulido eh sige may iba na ano na medyo ano pa medyo kailangan pa ng refinement pero given the ano the the level that the Philippines has when it comes to analog horror ito na yung pinaka pulido and talagang natutuwa ako it's very ano it's very very nice that things like these uh, exist <laughs> so ayun Uh, I guess that's all that I have to say at this point. And um, maybe the only thing that I can um, tell you is uh, subscribe kayo sa tat- mag-subscribe din kayo sa tatlong channel na to. Kay uh, Blue Wave 5, Channel 10 Manila, and iRepublic. The links to their channels are in the description below. Mag-subscribe na rin kayo sa akin. Intrepidian rin yon, And ring the notification bell by selecting all. They are, uh, these people that I have uh, featured are three of the best analog horror um, creators in the Philippines. And I definitely recommend na panoorin nyo yung mga yun. So, uh, I think that's all that I have to say at this point. And uh, bago pa, ano, bago pa <laughs> kayo ma, ano, ma, mabato <laughs> dahil ano, medyo isang oras to. I will end this video right here. So, with all that said, This is Intrepidy and Reunion reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other, and remember, that's just a theory, a Pinoy theory. And um, do send the no Matt Pat some love as he retires from his YouTube uh, stint. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm here in Intrepid HQ. See you next time. Get out. In every level you beat, in each boss battle defeat, with each achievement your view becomes a bit more complete. And with each twist that unfolds, and every mystery you solve, we find a new way to see this ball on which we revolve. These games have secrets inside, and there's a team we can find. Don't give a black page and a clear horizon, so why not do a little theorize? Still doing here. This video is done.